There's no denying that Apple's AirPods are some of the most popular, but what about customization? There's one company that is offering you customization, but they're charging close to $700. We're gonna find out if these are worth it in this video. Welcome back to the channel. Guys and girls, you're watching me, Empuan here on Empuan Reviews. These, the Hadoro customized black leather Apple AirPods, I'm going to be reviewing with you today. I'm gonna to give you my honest feedback. I've used these for about a month now. So in this video, we're going to cover them, whether or not they're worth it. Now, before I get into today's video, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button so that you're notified whenever videos like this go live. Plus, I have another giveaway coming up. So if you want in on that, you'll have to be subscribed. All right, guys, so here are the AirPods in question. So let me make something absolutely clear from the onset. This is actually the second unit that I received. The first unit that I was sent actually had a few issues. Uh, and I'll talk about that later on in the video but Hadoro uh, were kind enough to replace this. And this is the unit that was sent through. This is actually the unit that I spent majority of my time with. First of all, what you'll notice is the front of the case. Uh, this is the Apple AirPod case. It doesn't look like all the other white AirPod cases or cases that look like floss holders. This is really customized. And one of the unique selling points of the leather range of customized AirPods is the fact that number one, they use premium grade genuine alligator leather. And I can confirm that definitely feels the case because I have some uh, experience with leather and this doesn't just feel like just normal leather, this actually feels like high grade leather. So that's really nice to see. And also the fact that this is uh, put together uh, both the AirPods and the leather bounding by Crossman in France, which is where Hadoro is based. You have a H emblem on the front, which is actually stainless steel. That H is actually for the Hadoro logo. Now, I didn't find this out until later on, but you can actually customize that logo, that stainless steel logo, with, for example, E for Mquan or M for my real name. So you have it sprayed black on the inside. And this is a kind of a matte black um, on both the inside and the top over there. And if I take them out, you'll notice that the way they've sprayed it goes all the way down and then kind of stops just before the bottom there. And you'll notice that there is some discoloration, like I said, three to four weeks, and some of the paint has chipped off on the top over there, which, yeah, you know, I, I, to be honest with you, I'm not impressed with over there. But let's put the case to one side and actually show you the AirPods themselves. So the AirPods have been sprayed with this matte effect. Now, this is one of the issues that I had with the previous uh, model, and I seem to also have this with this current model as well. I found that the matte finish isn't really very durable. Now, they mentioned on their website that they use a high-grade matte material, but if you use your fingernail, you can actually take off some of the matte finishing, which, you know, it doesn't, at this price point, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't sort of fill me with confidence. The other thing is, really up close, you'll notice that the gap where the microphone and the silver outline is, you'll notice parts of the white there. Now, I'm assuming this is difficult to do, but again, at this price point, from a company, you know, like Hadoro, I was expecting much, much better. And you'll notice this on both of the AirPods. In my ears, you know, as you would expect from AirPods, the only thing that looks different and something that I actually like is the fact that they're not white. So they look a little uh, less in your face or a little less obvious. Um, but that's it. I mean, no issues really in ear. Now for me personally, and this isn't a fault of the AirPods, my right side doesn't fit in as snugly as my left side does. But again, the fact that, you know, if they had been gloss, uh, I feel that at least the right side would have been easier in my ear. This matte finish just makes it much, much more slippery. All right, so what about functionality? Because they're pretty important for AirPods. I haven't encountered any issues. As soon as I open the lid, uh, they connect uh, with my iPhone 10. Uh, in terms of receiving calls, uh, listening to audio, I've had no issues with that whatsoever. So they work really well. Then that brings us on to the final question, which is, are they worth the asking price? So number one, how much are they? Well, these, this exact model on Hedora's website will set you back 500 
and 60 euros, which equates to about $700, just under $700. Now bear in mind, the price of a brand new iPhone 10 is gonna be around $1,000. So close to a price of an iPhone 10, you're gonna get essentially customization on the hardware itself. There's no further enhancements on the functionality or you know the AirPods don't do anything different from a normal, what is it? $150 to $200 AirPods. It's really the look and the feel to stand out from the crowd. And that's where I have an issue. Um, there are two issues that I have. Number one, I think the, 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 the outward appearance, the genuine leather that's been used is nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it feels nice. It looks nice. But is it worth the asking price? And going back to at the beginning when I started talking about the first unit, the first unit that I received actually was terrible because not only was the leather damaged, but also the stitching was coming undone. But for me, the killer thing are the AirPods themselves. These AirPods should come with an option of glossy or matte. There is only one option, which is matte. I don't like the matte feel. I don't feel that they do anything to enhance the fit. If anything, they probably make it more difficult to fit in the ears. And that's something at this price point at 560 euros, close to $700. But you know, if you are clever with your money, then there are other customization options that might be better. Leave your comments down below. Do you think these things are worth A, customization, and B, worth what Hedoro are charging at $700? I'd love to know your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video coming soon here on Mquan Reviews. Until then, I'm Mquan. Peace and blessings.